Hello Primary 5, welcome to my channel, I'm Sora, I'm teaching science and today we're gonna talk about food chains. Energy for life of all living organisms. You should know that all living organisms eat food to get energy, they need to survive, and living organisms feed on one another so energy passes between them. Also. Living organisms can be classified into three groups, into three groups according to the way of feeding, according to the way of feeding, which are number one producers, number two consumers, and number three decomposers. Group number one of the classification, the producers. Producers are organisms that can make their own food and don't consume other plants or animals. They don't consume or don't feed on other plants or animals. Plants use energy from the sun to produce their own food, the glucose sugar. During photosynthesis process, super. Nearly all the producers on the earth are plants, so we can say that the producers are plants. So group number one of the classification, the producers are plants, super. Number two, or group number two of the classification, the consumer. Consumer, they are living organisms that eat other living organisms to get their energy as they can't make or produce their own food. So the consumer can't produce or can't make their own food and they feed on or eat other living organisms to get energy. There are three types of consumer in the ecosystem which are number one, primary consumer like the insects, like the worm. Second time, the secondary consumer, they feed on the primary consumer, so the bird eats the worm. And last time, the territory consumer, like the crocodile eating the bird. So we have three types of consumer, primary, secondary, territory. First type of consumer, the primary consumers, they are animals that eat plants. We said before, they can be insects like the worm so many insects are primary consumers so not all primary consumers are insects we have animals and we have insects so primary consumer can be animals or can be insects so many insects are primary consumer our second type of the consumer is the secondary consumers they are animals that eat primary consumer, as we said before, like the bird eating the worm. Birds are secondary consumers. Why? As they eat insects and other organisms that eat plants, which are primary consumer. So, the animals that eat plants, they are primary consumers. Any organism that eat plants, they are primary consumer. And the secondary consumer feed on or eat the primary consumer. Our last type of the consumer is the territory consumer. They are animals that eat secondary consumers. So, we... we Walk step by step from the primary consumer or from the producers, the plants, then the primary consumer, then the secondary consumer, and then the territory consumer feed on the secondary consumer. So territory consumers, they are animals that eat secondary consumers. Terrestrial consumers are often large meat-eating animals like crocodiles. So terrestrial consumers eat meat, eat meat like the lion, like the crocodile, all of those are territory consumers. We have something called decomposers. The decomposers, they are organisms that carry out the process of decomposition. What is the meaning of decomposition? Breaking down or decaying the organism. They feed on the dead bodies of the organism. They 
في ضوء the dead body of the dead organism. They recycle neutrons back into the ecosystem through the process of decomposition of dead organism. Like fungi, like bacteria, like worms, like malibetes. So the decomposer, they are organisms that carry out the process of decomposition. And we said that the decomposition is the breaking down or decaying dead organisms. They feed on or they live on dead bodies of the dead organism. And they recycle the neutrons back to or back into the ecosystem. They take the neutrons from the dead bodies of the dead organism and recycle it again into the ecosystem through the process of decomposition. Decomposition. Okay, and we have three types of decomposers. Fungi, like this picture, and bacteria, and we know the bacteria. We can see the bacteria with our sight, and we have millibeters. Let's talk about the millibeters. Worms and millibeters produce waste rich in nutrients that increase the soil fertility for plant growth. So the millibeters produce waste. They produce waste, something not cool, but it rich in Neutrons, so the waste of the millibeters reach in neutrons that increase the soil fertility. What is the meaning of soil fertility? That, that means that the soil has lots of neutrons, lots of neutrons. So the millibeters produce waste rich in neutrons that increase the soil fertility for plant growth. As we know that the plant growth need neutrons. The energy flows through an ecosystem between living organisms. That's something we know, right? How the movement of the energy in the neutrons through an ecosystem can be represented using model known as food chain. So food chain means it's a model that shows one linear, one linear set of feeding relationships, feeding relationships between different organisms and movement of energy between living organisms. As we said that the energy passes through living organisms by eating them, right? The primary consumer feed on the producers, which are the plants, and then the secondary consumer feed on the primary consumer, and then the tertiary consumer feed on the secondary consumer and we have the decomposer and we said the decomposer feed on the dead bodies of the dead organism. This is called feeding relationships. And we have here an example, the grapes. The grapes is plants, right? The mouse eat plants, grapes. So the mouse eat plants like the grapes. And then we have the snake that eat mouse. The snake eat mouse. And the last one, the eagle that eat snake. Let's see the sequence here. The grape is plants, right? So the grape is producer. Mouse feed on or eat the grape. So the mouse consider is a primary consumer. And then the snake eat the mouse. So the snake is a secondary consumer and then the eagle eat the snake so the eagle consider is territory consumer this is called food chain food chain is energy flow or passes between different organisms in one in one linear as you can see one linear this is called one linear and this is called feeding relationships movement. As you can see, feeding movement or feeding relationships between living organisms. So plants is the first link in the food chain. 
Why is it considered as producers living organism? Why is it uses the energy from the sun to produce its own food? And the mouse is the second link, and it considered as primary consumer living organism. Why? As it eat plants, producers. And the snake is the secondary consumer as it eats the mouse. And the eagle is the tertiary consumer as it eats the snake. And in the final, when the eagle dies, it decomposes by the decomposers. And we said the decomposers feed on the dead bodies of the dead organism. And the energy of the dead eagles is returned to the soil, which makes the food chain continue. So plants can use sun energy to make their own food, so they are producers. But other living organisms obtain or take the sun energy through eating plants or other animals. So energy passes from the sun to the green plants to different animals and then between animals, the prey and predators. The food chain shows that the food relationships and the energy relationships among living organisms in the ecosystem. So we said before that the food chain, this called food chain, shows the relationship between different animals in the ecosystem and energy relationship between the animals. The energy passes from the grape to the mouse, then to the snake, then to the eagle. And when the eagle is dried, it back to the soil again. We have something called prey and we have something called predator. I gave you an example before, the mouse and the cat. And we said the mouse is the prey, as it, the mouse is eaten by the cat. And the cat is a predator, as the cat eats the mouse. So the prey is any animal that is hunted or eaten by another animal, like the snake and like the mouse in this food chain. The mouse is eaten by the snake, so the mouse is prey. And the snake is eaten by the eagle, so the snake is prey for the eagle. And we have something called predator. Predator is any consumer that hunts and eats another animal like the hawk or the snake. As the snake eats the mouse, Right, so the snake is a predator for the mouse, and the eagle or the hawk eats the snake, so the eagle or the hawk is a predator for the snake. So the prey is any animal that is hunted and eaten by another animal, like the snake and the mouse. And predator is any consumer that hunts and eats other animals, like the hawk and the snake. So, what is the meaning of food chain? Hmm, can you tell me? Super. So, food chain, it is a model that shows one linear set of feeding relationships and movement of energy between living organisms. Can you tell me what is the meaning of producer? What are producers? Super. So, producers, they are organisms that can make their own food and don't consume or don't feed on other plants or animals. What are the consumer? Who can tell me? Clap for yourself. Super. So consumer, they are living organisms that eat other living organisms to get their energy as they can't make or can't produce their own food. And we have three types of consumer, which are primary consumers, secondary consumers and tertiary consumers. What are the decomposers? Super. So the decomposers, they are organisms that carry out the process of decomposition by breaking down or decaying dead organisms. If you don't, the dead organism body. They recycle the nutrients back into the ecosystem through the process of the decomposition of dead organisms like the fungi, like the bacteria, and like worms and millipedes. 
this was our lesson for today i hope you enjoyed don't forget to like subscribe and share goodbye